Baruch Hashim Tova. As we approach uh, Shabbat Shuvah and Yom Kippur, I thought it might be beneficial if we would reflect upon probably uh, one of the central tefillos in the Slichas Davening. No doubt the centerpiece of uh, our prayers in wishing and hoping that Hashem will grant us forgiveness. I'm referring, of course, to the Yud Gimel Midas HaRachamim, and uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to simply focus upon the first two Midas. The Gemara in Rosh Hashanah and Yud Zayin Amid Beis, and also the Medrash as well, depicts for us what was a very solemn moment, a sacred moment, when according to Rav Yochanan, HaKadosh Baruch Hu disclosed to Moshe the Yud Gimel Midas HaRachamim. The first two Midos, according to Rabbeinu Tam, are separate. And the Gemara comments, and the Gemara says, what does Hashem Hashem mean? And the Gemara says, Anihu kodem sheyech to ha'odom, the first Hashem, v'anihu la'acha sheyech to ha'odom v'yase tshuva. So both Hashems, the Midas HaRachamim, before the Chet and after the Chet. The Rosh there in Rosh Hashanah asks an obvious question. He says, I understand why we need Hashem's Rachamim after we sin, but before we sin, why is there the need for Hashem's Rachamim? The Rosh offers two answers, and then I'd like to offer a third. One answer that the Rosh brings, which is elaborated upon by the Karba Nisanel, goes something like this. HaKadosh Baruch Hu understands that we often have terrible thoughts. We have demons rolling around in our head, convincing us to do all sorts of things. Chait does not appear in a vacuum. It often begins in our head. And sometimes these thoughts embarrass us and we feel guilty. And how can we stand before HaKadosh Baruch Hu when he knows what's going on in our head? Comes the first Hashem, the Hashem of Rachamim, before we sin, when we're just thinking about all sorts of unhealthy things. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I'm not interested in your machshavas. As long as they don't result in hate, ignore them. I'm willing to forget about them. Stand before me and don't worry. Dismiss your machshavas. Dismiss the demons. They're nothing. The Rush then gives another answer. His first answer is, Hashem knows that no matter how much we try, we're just bus of our dumb and we're going to sin again in the future. So therefore, why should Hashem show any rachamim to us? The first Hashem, Lifnei Achet, Hashem is saying, even though I know that no one is perfect, and as much as we try, we're probably going to mess up again sometime in the coming year. Ba'asher Hushom, that's the language of the Rush, quoting the famous Pasuk in Bereshis. Hashem is willing to look at us as we appear now, as we appear on Yom Kippur, dressed in white, trying as much as we can, aspiring to our optimal behavior, standing before Hashem in all of our purity, and Hashem, lifnei achet, is willing to judge us accordingly with that sort of rachamim, notwithstanding what's going to happen in the future. There is a third answer to this question of the Rosh, which is brought down by the Aruch Lener. The Aruch Lener begins by quoting the Gemara, which is found in a number of places, the end of the first parak in Kedushin, where the Gemara says, Yitzro shel Adam is gaber alov b'chol yom. That our Yitzharas attack us and assail us every day. Mischadesh b'chol yom. The Yitzhara renews itself every day. The Ilmale Akurish Baruchu Hu Ozro Lo Yochalo. And were it not for the help of Akurish Baruchu, no one would be able to withstand the temptations of our own inner Yitzharas. The Arachaner says, Hashem Lifneachet. We should never feel Hashem is with us even before we sin. Hashem is with us to protect us from our own Yetzirah. And as long as we feel the presence of Hashem, or as the Rav would often dramatically point out, we feel the presence of the Shechina next to us, close to us, a certain intimacy with Hashem, that very awareness, that acute, that acute awareness, which acts like a firewall, protecting us, from the temptations of hate, to understand that Hashem is with us, as the Erlach HaNer says, this is Hashem before the hate. So as we begin to contemplate our year ahead as we go forward, 
Let's try to remember these three interpretations of Hashem Lifnei Achet. Hashem will judge us by Asher Hushom. Hashem is not interested in our thoughts. We should dismiss them and not let them plague us. And more importantly, as we go forward into the year, let's try to generate that awareness of Hashem so that we will not come to commit any sin. We won't have to come to the Hashem La'achar Achet because we'll possibly be the best selves that we can be. Gemar Chasim Atobah.